Hi, and welcome to Ham Radio Passion. I'm Eustain, LB8 IJ, and um, today we're going to take a look on my uh, favorite uh, HF uh, antenna for uh, portable operations. And uh, when uh, considering uh, antennas, especially for portable operation, there is uh, more to consider than uh, efficiency. Other uh, important uh, properties uh, is uh, portability, how uh, heavy is it uh, to bring along, how easy is it to rig the antenna, how flexible is the mounting method, does it uh, require a tree or something else to mount, how long time does it take to rig the antenna, uh, how flexible is, uh, is the antenna, is it a uh, multi-band, uh, can you work uh, all the bands you want to work uh, when you're portable, and uh, reliability, uh, can it handle the stress of uh, rigging it up and down and been dragged along for uh, hundreds of times and uh, the ease of use what uh, does it take to uh, tune to decide uh, frequency does it need uh, some additional gear uh, tuner or, or something else do you need uh, to screw or unscrew coils and so on and then there's uh, efficiency is it uh, directable what's the radiating uh, pattern well I'm a father of four and uh, with a busy uh, family life and uh, sometimes uh, I may only have an hour to spare or I uh, have a small window of uh, opportunity between appointments uh, close to a park. So uh, for me time to rig is uh, usually my uh, top priority but uh, that being said uh, the antenna I'm going to show you has proven to be uh, be good in uh, many other ways. It's uh, flexible and it's uh, it's efficient enough and, uh, and it gets uh, the job done really well for portable operations. Uh, so far and uh, I've been uh, using it uh, far more than any other antennas is uh, the ground plane antenna made up of a single telescopic uh, uh, whip it's uh, 5.6 uh, meters long and it's uh, mounted on uh, a ground spike um, and uh, I have uh, four uh, usually use it with uh, four uh, radials, uh, about uh, five meters long. And uh, that uh, gets me on uh, on uh, 20 meters in uh, about, uh, and I rig it up in about uh, five minutes. And uh, I, in uh, most of the parks in Norway, you are allowed to, uh, to, to run the spike down in the ground. Uh, that may not be, uh, be the case. Uh, uh, in every country, but uh, it's great here at least, and uh, it may be mounted in, uh, in some other ways. And during winter time, uh, uh, there are some other ways to to rig it up, and I uh, gonna show you some ideas uh, in a later video for that. I can tune this antenna using uh, only the the telescopic whip. I tune it by extending or up or raising or lowering the the radiating element, and we can uh, get it. Uh, uh, down to uh, one to one without a tuner, and uh, that's uh, great with uh, with these uh, mobile rigs. You you often don't have um, have uh, an integrated tuner for 100 watt uh, mobile rigs. Uh, so yeah, that's great antenna. And um, if I want to work uh, more bands, I may I have made uh, some other uh, radials here. Uh, it's another uh, four radials, uh, two uh, are uh, cut for the 15 meters and two are cut for 10 meters, I think. But uh, uh, when attaching all these radials, I'm able to work all the bands from uh, 20 to 10 meters. So this has been my uh, go-to antenna for uh, more than, uh, now for closing in on uh, 100 activations. And it's uh, been proven uh, really reliable over time. Had uh, very few issues uh, on my activations using uh, this antenna. And uh, yeah, uh, I usually uh, just uh, leave um, the 20 meter um, radials uh, attached and also the antenna attached to the ground spike and, uh, and also the coax cable. So uh, yeah, the complete um, kit I leave, uh, leave like this when I carry it out in the park. And from park to park, yeah, uh, I failed to mention also, uh, I have to, this uh, antenna is bought from uh, AliExpress, I leave uh, some affiliate links uh, down below, but uh, it's uh, 10 millimeter uh, in the bottom here, and uh, and uh, the uh, mounting uh, screw here, also bought from AliExpress, is uh, 3 8 uh, inch uh, 
so I had to buy an additional adapter here. And uh, the ground spike I made myself, uh, ground spike in a bracket. And um, in hindsight, uh, I know there's a kit on AliExpress that uh, does uh, all this uh, for you. Uh, you don't have to make it yourself, but um, so maybe should have bought that uh, rather than uh, buy some parts and, and make the rest myself. But I'm really happy with it, and also the the radiating uh, the, no the radials are made up of uh, silicone wire, which is uh, really flexible and doesn't easily tangle. So I think they're uh, better than the one follow, uh, that you get with a kit. So uh, even if you buy the kit, you may want to buy uh, the cable as well and make some uh, some good radials uh, that doesn't tangle so easily, or make more radials so you get on uh, more bands. If you are uh, inter interested uh, in this uh, yourself, I leave some um, affiliate links uh, down below. And um, that really helps out the channel if you want to buy uh, use those links uh, if, or you can find it somewhere else. And uh, there's a lot of uh, antennas like this, but uh, yeah, this is what I use and I, uh, I really enjoy this antenna. Like and subscribe. Thank you for uh, watching this uh, video. 73.